What's going on, good people? Listen, I am your man, Harry Yo Over the Top, here with a new video. Before we get started, I want you guys to, again, like, share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I want to take you a second. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Come on in here. Watch some of these videos. It's going to get you up out of that pain, yeah. <laughs> Listen, today, guys, I have a video for you. And I want to talk about the narcs silent treatment. <clears throat> and if you're dealing with a narcissist, I'm positive. It doesn't even matter whether you're in a relationship or, you know, it's a family member, friend, frenemy or whatever. The narcs silent treatment. You know. The narcissist is somebody that is, they're already doing way too much all the time, getting gaslighting you. And that's something that really surprises you when they give you the silent treatment because they're so adamant about getting some confusion started regularly. So when you when you after they get an argument started, a disagreement started, you're sitting there and, and, and you straighten it. You're thinking, why are you silent now? You started this. And in the back of your mind, you're thinking, yeah, because, you know, I'm right. Well, guys, guess what? The fact of the matter is, is that it's not even about right or wrong. It's not about right or wrong. It's about control. That's right, guys. A narcissist will give you the silent treatment to effectively show you they are in control. Because th this is the thing. We're under the assumption that this person doesn't know what they're doing, right? The narcissist knows exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. A narcissist is saying, hey, I got something started and now I'm going to run with it. I want to see how much control I have over you. So I'm going to talk about something or do something that we both know what the truth is. We both know the truth. Now, I'm going to guilt you into this argument. Right. So that you feel convicted that you have to stand up. And that's exactly how we feel. And then we feel like, yeah, you don't have anything to say because, you know, I'm right. The fact of the matter is, guys, the narc knew you were right before they started it. They started it to exercise control over you, one. And number two, they wanted to see. They are just gauging you. They're gauging you to see how much time and how much supply. Well, time is supply. Supply being how much more supply do you have? How convicted to guarding your truth, are you? See, a narcissist looks at it like when you are no longer interested, when you're no longer interested in proving that you're right, they know that, okay, this thing is, this person is literally running on fumes. I got to make an, I got to abandon ship. I got to do some things to get out of here. So in the meantime, I'm going to just kind of act like I got a little sense until I find somebody that I can run to. Now, remember, guys, a narcissist is always recruiting. A narcissist is always recruiting. It's not that they just saw, oh, you, you're losing your supply. Let me go find somebody new. No, no. Guys, dealing with a narcissist, listen. A narcissist realistically looks at you like a car that they drive. OK. They know that if you drive the car, eventually this car will run out of gas 
even if it's an electric car, it will run out of power. Okay, if they drive it long enough without refueling it, the narcissist is looking at you like, okay, you're getting close to empty. Right? Now, I know it makes sense, right, for them to just refuel you, love bomb you again, you're back in. You know, they'll give you hope. They'll give you hope. But a true fill up love bomb? No, 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 no. They don't deem anyone worthy of something like that. And that's too much work. That's too much work. Only time they're going to do that is when they're really setting you up for the grand finale. That's the only time you're going to get a second love bomb when they pull you back in. After they have really seen that they lost you and they try, they pull you back in for the grand finale. Because again, they don't have a sufficient supply set up. But guys, they will start this argument. That's how they test you. That's what the silent treatment is all about. It's meant to torment you. They know that if they're laying in the bed next to you, they're not giving you any affection. They're not giving you any conversation. They're giving you straight attitude. They know what it's doing to you. They know that it is burning you. You're wondering what is what in the hell is going on? Why can't we just squash this? And they know that eventually you're going to be the bigger person and just overlook what they're doing and how they're abusing you. And they're banking on that. Because they know you want peace. They have no intentions of bringing peace, guys. Hey, guys, I'm going to keep that video short and sweet. Again, I want you to like, share, subscribe the video to the, to the channel. Like the video, share the video, comment. Let's keep the conversation going in the comment section. Let's talk about let's talk about your experience and what you dealt with when it comes to the silent treatment. Guys, I have a Facebook group, Narcissist Anonymous 101, the Empath Tribe. All you have to do is, as a matter of fact, I'm going to leave a link to the Facebook channel in the description of this video. Also, for you guys who are really, really going through it. And you really need to have a conversation with somebody that can make help make sense of all of this. I do one on one coaching, help you clear that fog up. I'm going to also leave my calendar in the description of this video. All right. For new show ideas, if you have an idea that you want or you have a topic that you want me to do a video on, inbox me on Facebook, Instagram or TikTok. All right. Thank you.